Never Enough Ammo's more recent videos, uh, at the time of this publishing, is on the subject of the um, same-sex couple that is suing the flower shop for refusing to provide services for their wedding victuals, right? Matt has some very, very good points, and um, I couldn't have said some of the things that he said better myself. There's a couple of uh, couple of things I wanted to bring up in addition to, to what's been mentioned so far. Now, as a matter of full disclosure, I haven't read every single comment or watched every single video on this, um, but hopefully what I'm talking about here will be something fresh. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm interested in, in what you, the audience, thinks over here because I've got a lot of respect for y'all and uh, a lot of respect for your opinion on this. The way that I see it, and, and Matt's very correct, in that if if somebody refuses to provide a service or a good to anybody for any reason whatsoever, then that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. Further, if two people of the same sex wish to form a civil union that allows them to combine benefits and work in a co-creative relationship, I don't care about that either. And, um, and I know many, 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 many people who feel the exact same way. However, being very realistic about this, this has not always been the case. Um, there's a certain morality change that has happened over the course of the last, I don't know, say 20, 30 years, where, where the north of our morality has been slightly shifted. And it gotten shifted, I believe, from uh, things such as the civil rights movement and, and other issues to where instead of it being like a group think, well, gays are bad, blacks are bad, stuff like that, it's more of, you know, a person is a person and their appearance shouldn't be something that ends up having them being deprived of a service. Now, in the case of this, uh, this flower situation and the couple suing the flower shop, what they're trying to accomplish isn't to make the flower shop provide them this service, what they are working to do is continuing to adjust that morality. Is it necessary to adjust that morality? Apparently so, if they're being regarded and prejudiced against. Just like the Americans with Disabilities Act, without that act, a handicapped person has to rely on the, the properly adjusted morality of the business owner to accommodate the handicap. Now, it's very easy for Matt or myself to say, well, if I find out that a company is prejudicing against uh, people because of their creed, whatever, it's all well and good that he or I can be trusted to not patronize that business and um, that business would just sort of wither on the vine. But the people like this particular couple just don't have that faith that that morality exists enough to, to trust capitalism to do the right thing. So that's where I see this push. And obviously, as the flower owner refusing the right, albeit maybe misguided, in my opinion, refusing the right to provide a service for this, they're trying to push right back and adjust that morale, morality the other way on the compass, you know, back to what they feel is true north. It's an interesting fight, and I don't think it's one that's done yet, man. That's the thing. All right, uh, great, great video, Matt. Always nice to see your stuff, and um, just want to let you know I'm still, <laughs> I'm still around. All right, rest of y'all take care. Uh, you too, Matt. Nice work.